friends my name is Arslan and in this video I am going to show you that how you can create a pure sine wave inverter for single phase and uh, I have designed a um, two or three kinds of inverters that uh, are being used as a DC to AC converters so this um, this is one of them and um, the beauty of this design is you can convert this design into many other designs for example if you decided to convert 12 volts you can get a maximum of 1.5 kilowatt and for 24 kilovolts you can get 3 ki 3 kilowatts and for um, 36 volts dc you will get 4 kilowatt and for 48 volts you will get 5.5 kilowatt and for 60 volts you will get 6.5 kilowatt and for 70 you will have uh, 72 kilo 72 volts so you will have 7.5 kilowatts so this one is a high power frequency pure sine wave in, 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 inverter and this one is a his motherboard and um, basically we are using uh, three uh, MOSFETs or IGBTs per phase uh, for single HB which is one leg so in total we are using uh, 12 of them and uh, the driver I see here we are using is IR2110 you can use IR2112 or any other uh, driving IC which will convert your um, into that uh, driver high volts so um, let me show you the, the details points of this and this one is a point uh, at which you will have to provide the PWMs so um, this one is a center pin and uh, this pin we will provide uh, as in case of your pure sine wave inverter you need two pulses and one is the ground so this, uh, this pin over here is for a uh, high side PWM, this is for low side PWM and the center one is being used as a ground so which will common your inverter grounds with that controller ground so and the second one is over here this one is basically a control supply so again the same technique is here this one is for 5 volt this one is ground and this one is uh, up to 20 volts this one uh, as this IC can bear from 10 to 20 volts so you can uh, give uh, 12 volts uh, or 22 or 20 volts at this point this IC will automatically convert them so this one uh, these are over here the MOSFETs which will convert your uh, signal uh, from AC sorry from DC to AC so wait a minute let me show you the output ok now let's back uh, to a digital scope and we can also see that uh, this one yellow one if you can see this one is the input so this is the input uh, supply of your um, socket so this is basically 220 volts 50 hertz uh, this can also be a uh, 60 hertz or 120 volts so the output is over here so this is the output that we are getting from this controller and after the uh, applying filter we are getting this is um, this one is off over here the output. so as you can see this uh, this one is almost a pure sine wave so let me just expand it so this one is a slowly slowly see um, getting uh, uh, away so basically this design is for a grid tie inverter so when they become in phase to phase each other so then the grid tie circuits will turn it on now let me show you the hardware So uh, these are the four capacitors that will store the amount of charge that uh, this whole drives needs. So um, when you provide DC, for example, if you are providing a 12 volt DC or 24 volt DC, then this capacitor will get charged, and the PWMs that we are going to apply at these points will uh, give signals 
will convert the same PWGMs uh, using this driver uh, to step up high. For example, if we are applying in 20 volts DC, then we are getting the PWGMs of plus 5 volts. Same PWGMs but at 20 volts, and these 20 volts uh, PWGMs then will turn on and turn off these modes first. And I also uh, have kept some space between them so this one is a calculated space so you can use this this space will be covered by uh, the heat sinkers uh, so you need uh, two heat sinkers one heat sinker for that side and the other one heat sinker for this side this side so these two heat sinker will sink the heat from these MOSFETs and uh, make it uh, efficiency uh, I think better one so in the DC you have to uh, apply it uh, uh, the DC points are basically provided uh, at this point and at this point on the back side of this PCB and the output you have to take a, a, a one from at that point beneath the PCB and the second one you will have to take from the top of this most um, heat sinkers that you will connect over here so you can get the Gerber files and all other files if you want just send a mail at my mail id so let me display my so for the files you can send a mail at ali ali at the of gmail.com and i'll send the files uh, and i will reply shortly on this mail so let me just give you two or three views and then let's end the video Okay friends, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click on that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.